Hello Lubbock Contra Dance community. This is your caller Morgan here to give you a little reprieve from your social distancing and isolation. Today I'm going to be walking you through Family Contra in the Castle. This dance is by Seth Tepfer and it's in duple and proper. If you have never been to a Contra dance before and this is your first time and thought I'll click on the audio, don't worry we're going to walk you through it step by step. When you start lining up for a contra dance, it's nice to imagine the collar and the band at the top of the room, whatever you would like to set up as the top. And so imagine me standing at the top of the room facing you, and we start with setting up two long lines of couples. To my invisible left hand side, we start with a gent with his partner across from him. And then the next couple lines up underneath that gent. And so on the left hand side, we alternate and we have a gent, lady, gent, lady. It's all right if there's just two of you and it's all right if there's four, even better. From here, we like to acknowledge you're in the right place. Your partner is standing across from you, give them a little wave. And the couple below you, if you're at the very top of the dance, those are called your neighbors. Go ahead and wave to your neighbor, little hello. Before we begin, let's make sure you know where you are. The very first couple in line of your dance is going to be ones, and the couple below them are called twos. All this means is that certain couples move at certain times, and this is also how you know which way you are progressing. Ones progress down the line, while twos progress up. This dance is going to start in very easy formation, you're going to take hands in a circle and you're going to do what's called balance the ring. It's a very simple, you're all going to step forward into the circle, put your feet together and step back out. This takes four counts to do, so it's going to feel like one, two, three, four, step, step, back, step. You're going to do this two times in a row gets you to a total of eight counts. Still holding hands in that circle, you're just going to move to the left. You're gonna circle left all the way around until you get back to your original starting position. From here, we're going to balance that ring two times again. Still holding those hands, we're now going to circle right all the way around until you get back to your original place. This takes eight counts. Next, you're gonna let go of everyone's hand and you're gonna face that neighbor. That neighbor is that person next to you that's not your partner. With this neighbor, we're going to do what's called a do -si do Facing that neighbor, you're gonna walk toward them and pass by the right. Your right shoulders are gonna breeze past each other. You're gonna take about one step past each other. And then you're gonna take one step to your right, everyone's individual right, so that you can back up on the other side of your neighbor and keep backing up past them until you can see them again and you're looking right at them. From here, we're gonna move on to what's called a neighbor swing. We're going to make this very simple for your swings. I want you to take each other's hands and just in a lovely circle, just swing around each other in a circle, just a little, a little twirl. This will last eight counts. And when you're done with your circle, you just make sure that you put that lady on the, on gent, you put the lady on your right hand side. When you end the swing, you will be facing the couple across from you in those long lines you're going to be facing back in towards the middle of the set from here you should be facing your partner and you will do a partner do si do again the do si do is going to be facing that partner you're just going to walk past them on the right give them a little back to back with space and just keep walking backwards until you can see each other again from here, still with your partner, we're going to do a partner swing. Just take those two hands again and twirl 
clockwise in a circle. I forgot to mention, swings are done clockwise. This swing will still end with the lady on the right, but since you are, you will be swinging in the middle of those lines you created, after this partner swing, you will face down if you are a one and up the line back toward facing your imaginary collar if you're the two. If there are only four people in your household, it's not a problem. Just turn to face each other and dance with each other again. If there's no one else there, it's not going to hurt anything. From here, we start back at the top of the dance. Stay tuned for a wonderful recording from our band, Old News Banjos, so that you can dance this at home, and I will make sure to provide calling for you along with the music. We hope to see you again when this is all over. Balance the ring two times. Circle left. Balance the ring two times. Circle right. Neighbors, do si do. Neighbors swing. Partners, do si do. Partner swing. 